I raise today to urge my colleagues to support the Farm Bill conference report. It's taken a long time to get to this point with several unnecessary roadblocks along the way. But we're finally near the finish line, and it's time that we conclude this process. I commend Chairwoman Stevenow, Ranking Member Cochran, Chairman Lucas, and Ranking Member Peterson for their leadership in developing this reasonable conference report. The Agricultural Act of 2014 will reduce the deficit, restructure our egg support programs, continue to feed the hungry, aid livestock producers hit by the Atlas blizzard, and enable consumers to know where their food comes from. This conference report certainly isn't perfect. As with any legislation that is this important and far reaching, it's impossible to fully satisfy everybody. But this is a reasonable compromise. Our ranchers will benefit significantly from this bill. Not only does this co compromise enable country of origin labeling to continue as well as maintain USDA's apparently to ensure a fair and transparent marketplace, but it also contains critical livestock disaster assistance programs to help ranchers in my state who are still recovering from the 2012 drought and last year's terrible blizzard. My ranchers lost tens of thousands of livestock and they've been left hanging because of congressional inaction. With passage, they finally be able to cut the aid they need. Beyond these, the important assistance for livestock producers, this bill also reforms our farm programs by eliminating direct payments and by strengthening the crop insurance program. It also offers key support for young and beginning farmers and ranchers, and it contains reasonable conservation compliance requirements for farm program and crop insurance eligibility. This legislation represents more than just assistance to our farmers and ranchers. It's also a jobs bill. It contains mandatory funding for several energy and rural development programs, and it will help USDA deal with a huge backlog of painting rural water and wastewater infrastructure applications. Hundreds of rural communities across the country, including Aberdeen, Watertown, and Brookings in South Dakota, will also continue to be eligible for rural housing programs as a result of a provision I included in the Senate passed Farm Bill that is maintained in this conference report. I would also like to highlight provisions to address some key forestry issues important to the fight against the pine beetle and the bog hills. The, this bill provides for the Forest Service and private forest land owners with critically needed tools and flexibility. This includes permanently authorizing stewardship contracting to combine timber harvest with the needed conservation work building on the Martin Pine Beetle Response Project in the Black Hills by streamlining activities to combat insect and disease epidemics and clarifying the forest extension to Clean Water Act permitting. These changes provide need, needed certainty for both private and public forest managers. While I'm overall very pleased with this conference report, there are some disappointments. The senior senator from Iowa and I have worked for years for meaningful payment limitations. In fact, we were able to include in the Senate bill a hard cap on payments as well as new language to define farm program eligibility requirements. 
the House bill contained nearly identical language. However, this conference report actually loosens payment caps and it punts the decision of defining actively engaged to the Secretary of Agriculture. This is frustrating. However, moving forward, I will urge USDA to follow the intent of the Senate and House bills with respect to farm program eligibility when it undertakes rulemaking. Even though I'm not fully pre pleased with everything in this conference report, I think it does represent a cut compromise. As such, I urge my colleagues to join me in passing the bill. If we don't, food prices will rise, ranchers in my state will be forced out of business, and we won't get the deficit reduction or reforms to our farm programs. Mr. President, I yield the floor.